Rico. What is up everyone? Happy 2022 to you all and welcome back to the Happy Teacher. Today we're going to go over some more class games for all you teachers out there. So before we start, if you can hit that like button, I'd be most appreciative. Cheers a lot. Let's get started. Ooh, go, 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 everyone together. So today we're looking at cup games. Cup games are fun, versatile and engaging. There are so many variations that can be used here and there are far too many to name in one video. So we're going to focus on two of the main ways I use them in class and I'll throw some variation ideas at the end too. The setup is very easy. All you need is some of those stacking cups that are easily bought online. Alternatively, you can see in the video, I haven't got any stacking cups anymore because they were stolen. So then you can use paper cups and they do just as well. Although they can get broken easily and ripped, so use them gently. Build the tower. I like to do this one in teams so everybody is involved. This promotes teamwork, communication, obviously using English, and class unity. It also creates a fun competitive learning environment which begins and ends with English words or sentences being drilled. Like I said at the beginning, the variations here are endless, but I'll go through the basic versions that you can see here in the video. Rules. First, I put them into teams. Here I've set up girls versus boys, but it can literally be any combination that you like. Two, I make sure that I've drilled the words and sentences and give them each a cup as a reward. Three, I drill again. Four, I shout go. Five, the students race over to build a tower and will sit down nicely as a team when they're finished. Six, winning team gets stars. Seven, Everybody drills again. Obviously the point here is to have fun and drill the words, drill the vocabulary, drill the sentences. Number seven is the most important part, but just make sure you're giving out positive reinforcement to everybody for participation. Variations. There are so many, and like I said, there are too many to name for just one video. Here are a few ideas for variations. If you have any other ideas, please, by all means, let me know. I'm open to all suggestions in these games. You can do it as one-on-one, -on -one, 2v2, 3v3, etc. You can do it as a relay race. You can make them jump through a hoop before racing to the table, or just run around another table before getting to that table. You can spread the cups around the class so they have to find them first. Or you can make the tower bigger or smaller or even make two small towers. In this video, you can see the one-on-one -on -one variation of the game. This is a good variation, but I tend not to use games where only two out of the ten students are participating because it means that eight students are left doing nothing and they can get a bit bored. Also, it takes longer to get everyone involved, so I would suggest 2v2 or 3v3 to be a better game. As well as this, in the 1v1 video, you can see that I've spread the cups around the table instead of getting them to hold them. What's under the cup? Open your eyes! Hands on this! Hands on this! Teacher, teacher, let me try! I've got 
Right. Scare me something you can't do. I can't swim. Good girl. Whoa! So, in the second video, you can see another type of classic cut game. This is much slower and much more controlled, so the teacher needs to find ways to keep their attention and interest. Make sure there's constant drilling happening as well, so there's English reinforcement throughout. Variations The rewards can range from stickers, stars, toys, candies, or even just vocab cards with phonics letters on them. You can have different prizes and a different number of prizes under the cups as well. You can have a prize under them all and one cup for each student so everyone gets a go, or if you like, you can just have one prize for one student. This is usually fine, but do be careful of the little ones that they don't get upset by this. The little ones can be quite emotionally involved in these types of games. As well as this, you can have the students as the teacher and have them mix up the cups and call out students to pick them and get them to do the drills as well. There are so many different ways to do this. Can you think of any more ways? Do you have any ideas for your own cup games? If you do, then let me know in the comments below. That's all for now guys, thank you so much. Cheerio!